Miss Brown here again. Um, today I was out and about and I saw some really cool fun shaped rocks. So I picked those up and brought those home. So today I'm gonna show you how you can paint a rock for fun. You can turn an ordinary rock into a beautiful piece of art. So I did this one um, already. It's a cute little bunny. Here is a little Easter chick. And this whole rock is a cute little ladybug. There are so many things that you can paint on a rock. And if you don't have paint, Sharpies work great. I'll show you that as well. We're gonna start with a unicorn. Everybody loves unicorn. So you'll need some white paint. My white paint's kinda chunky. We're just gonna kinda stir that around. And you're gonna start by painting an oval. This is the unicorn's head. I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit more white paint that's not so thick, but this might work. Now, if you don't wanna go and paint right away, you can always use a pencil to draw on your rock before you start painting, which is what I did here. I drew this cute little flower um, before I even started painting, and it does erase off the rock, so if you mess up, just erase what you drew and redraw. But for this one, we're just diving in. So we need a cute little oval for the unicorn's face. And this is so simple, especially when you have paint that's not so thick. Just gonna try to finish it up. Our unicorn needs ears, so we'll need to make him some triangle shaped ears. Kind of smooth these edges. I'm going to make his ears, and I'm just going to make some little triangle ears that are sticking up on the side. Super cute, right? So far, kind of looks like a horse's head. A unicorn is a type of horse, so we're on the right track. All right, now that I have my head painted, I'm gonna just wipe the white off of my brush have to let this dry for a little bit before I start doing anything else. So we'll come back to this one. So you can draw on your rock or you can color it with a Sharpie. Let's see, I've got some Sharpies right here. See, they just color right on the So you can color your rock, or you can paint it. It's completely up to you. It's kind of whatever you have access to. And there are so many things. You don't even have to draw something in particular or paint something in particular. You can just do a fun design. You can write a really cool saying like, be kind, happy Easter, have a great day, so that when people walk out your front door, they see your really cool rocks that you've painted or you've written little sayings on there. All right, so let's go back to our cute little unicorn head. He needs a little bit of pink in his ears. So you will need a little bitty tiny brush when you're working on your unicorn. to add a little bit of pink in there. 
Now for his hair, he is going to have rainbow hair because all unicorns have rainbow hair, right? So we're going to start with a little bit of pink and we're going to give him a little swoop of pink hair right below that ear, just like that. You guys see that? Now we're gonna add some purple hair. You can add any colors you want. I'm gonna use three different colors. You can use as many or as little as you want. And right below that pink, I'm gonna add a little purple swoop. Just like so. I'm gonna wipe that purple off my brush. My next color and last color is gonna be this really pretty teal color. And right below the purple, I'm just gonna add a swoop of teal hair. Now my unicorn has some cool hair. He also needs a horn. A unicorn has a horn. So I've got some gold metallic that I'm gonna use for his horn. And his horn's like a really tall triangle shaped. So you're gonna want it to stick up past his ears. And you're just gonna want it to come right at the top where that hair is. And it's just like a long, skinny, triangle. I'm going to go over it one more time to kind of make it a little more shiny. Give it a nice point. Now our unicorn needs some eyes. A really neat way to make some perfect eyes is if you paint with the end of your paintbrush. So if you dip the end in black paint. I'm going to give her some black eyes. So if you dip the end of your paintbrush in black and you just dab it like that, she has some cute little eyes. I had to make them even. One was a little bit bigger than the other. She needs a little smiley mouth because unicorns are always happy. Just like right at the bottom. Give her a little smile. There you go. You have an adorable, cute, painted unicorn rock. Now what I would do, when the paint dries, Outline your unicorn with a black sharpie. It's going to define it a little bit better. And you go over the ears. You can outline the horn. You can add some like little decorative lines in the horn. I think she needs a little nose. So we're going to give her a little, just a little sharpie black nose right there. So this rock is all finished. Pretty easy peasy. Let me show you how to paint a cute little doggy. So when I picked up this rock, just the shape of it um, made me think of like a dog's face. So for this one, we're gonna take and we're gonna paint the whole rock this light tan color. You guys kinda see the difference? I'm just gonna paint it really thin coat, really quick. It should dry pretty fast. Now I just painted the front side, so I don't know if you guys can see, but I did not paint the back. I just painted the front. It's kind of dark in here today. Um, let me open the curtains really quickly. See if that helped. All right, that's a little better. 
So I've just painted the front side. I've not painted the back. If you want to paint the whole rock, you're more than welcome to. Just wait till the front dries, flip it over, and you can paint the back. I'm just going to paint the front for now. Then whatever color you want your dog's ears to be, black, a darker brown, that's the color you're going to use next. I'm going to use a darker brown. And I'm going to have one ear on this side. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to have another ear on this side. It kind of looks like a football. I'm going to paint these in with that darker brown. I might have to go over the darker brown a second time. It's not super, super dark. Make this ear a little bit bigger so that it looks the same. There we go. So now he still looks like a football. Um, this egg kind of looks, or this rock kind of looks like an Easter egg. So you could have painted this rock to make it look like an Easter egg, but I promise we're going to turn it in to a cute little dog. So now that his ears are finished, let's give him some black eyes. Again, we're going to dip the end of our paintbrush in the black paint. That gives us those perfect circle eyes. Just like so. And he needs a cute little red puppy nose. So we're going to kind of give him a little red Kind of like a roundish, ovalish nose. Really, really easily. There we go. He has a cute little red nose. Now well, let's give him his little mouth. Just like so. You guys, he's so cute. You can add another spot. Maybe he's got like a spot right above one of his eyes. Maybe he has a spot down here. or you could leave him the same. So now our rock looks like a cute little dog. I had started this one earlier, but I was waiting for it to dry. It says, be happy. It, it looks like it's pretty, mostly dry. So we're gonna put some wings on this bumblebee. And they just look kind of like a heart coming out the side. of each side of him. So there's one set of wings. See how it kind of looks like a heart? And then we're gonna do another one. This rock was really kind of small. I didn't allow myself enough space for the word happy, so the Y is a little funky. But if you do it in pencil first, that's when you can just erase if you mess up and start all over. I just went ahead and painted it. So here's his other little wing. Make it a little bit bigger to kind of match the other one. Now he needs some bumblebee stripes. So we'll go with the black. We'll put a little stripe right here where his little stinger is. We're gonna go up a little bit higher. Add another stripe. I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher and add one more. Bumblebee stripe. 
He needs eyes. So that fun trick, turn your paintbrush upside down, dip it in paint, give him some eyes, cute little nose. He needs some antennas. So with that same black paint, give him a couple of little antennas. Oh, this one got a little thick. I'm gonna make that one a little thicker. So now he's got some antennas. Let's put a little pink mouth on him. The paint's still kind of wet, so we'll see if this works. Just right across there. There you go. And you have a very cute bee happy bumblebee rock. Thank you for coming and painting with me today. And again, if you don't have paint, you can always use marker on your rocks.